This house actually uh, 120, 125 years old, historic home here in Burlington. So today we are taking the last step in getting this house to zero emissions, and that is removing the gas forced air furnace and replacing it with two cold weather heat pumps and a couple of air handlers. The, the heat pumps here may be a little different than those that people are used to seeing up on the wall, the mini splits, because the house was a forced hot air system originally, so there's duct work from the basement to every room in the house. And we replaced the furnace with two exterior heat pumps and two air handlers, which will just continue to direct warm air through the ductwork. And uh, we're actually getting an upgrade because the house has all been one zone and now it's gonna be two. There's gonna be a basement and first floor is one zone and then the second and third floor where the bedrooms are will be another zone. So we should be able to uh, manage the heat balance and the cooling balance more efficiently because of, of the two zones. One of the beautiful things about this process is I talked to Mark Stevenson at Vermont Energy more than a year ago about this. And um, we talked for a while and, and he sent me a note saying, you know what? There's new technology coming online which might lower the cost of your project. So let's hold off 12 months. And in fact, the project did um, drop significantly and Burlington Electric had some new incentives and maybe the manufacturer, there were some other incentives. Anyhow, a huge decrease in the cost of electrifying a home just in 12 months, which is great. Like it's really exciting how fast the technology is evolving and how fast the economy and the support from the utilities and from the state government is, is, is evolving. Why we are doing it is a big question. Um, fundamentally, it's because climate change threatens to destroy everything you care about. And uh, having meditated on the subject for 30 years, it really feels as though the only rational response is for every individual and every family and every community and every state and local and national government and the UN and every business and every church to do everything they can as fast as they can to get to zero fossil fuel use. So that's what our family's doing.